Our next guest isn't just one of the best-selling working authors today. She's also one of the best authors, period. Her third book, Worst Case Scenario, is already one of the best-selling and best-reviewed books of the year. She joins us live in studio. My good friend, TJ Newman. A third, three books, three appearances on Good Day Chicago. I'm feeling pretty cocky about it. I, I am, too. It's the hat trick. Yes, exactly right. Uh, welcome back. Um, first of all, just how are you feeling right now? Because the very first time you and I spoke was right before your, your first book, Falling, came out. And the world's changed for you since then. Completely. It's it's blown my mind what's happened. I'm, this is my third book. I've got two movie deals. My whole life has just radically changed in every way possible. I'm living my dreams come true. I love that. Now, for people who uh, maybe have, have missed the previous two interviews and missed sort of the, the great narrative that you had at the beginning of your career, you started out working for an airline, working on a plane, and sort of scribbling down ideas and stuff in between sort of helping passengers and stuff, and then that turned into your first book? Absolutely. I was a flight attendant for 10 years, and when you have a big imagination and you're a writer and you're in that environment every day, which is just non-stop stories yeah. surrounding you, you can't help but just take it in. And I wrote much of my first book by hand in the forward galley while passengers slept love that. red eyes. Yeah. I love that. So but when you read your books, they're clearly written by someone who knows what they're talking about, someone who sort of worked in that industry. What sort of feedback do you get from people in the airline industry who read your books? I I was nervous. I wasn't yeah. sure how they would receive it for people that work in aviation, but they have been nothing but receptive to it. And I think flight attendants especially love seeing themselves portrayed in a way that they're often not mm -hmm. as safety and security professionals who are on board to keep the passengers right. safe. Right, exactly right. Uh, I want to talk about your new book, Worst Case Scenario, because what I always love about your books is that they are these very big, massive, exciting, almost like summer blockbuster stories. But the reason they work is because within them, you've got these very small, personal stories of the people because you don't care about what's happening on the plane if you don't care about the people inside. Can you sort of talk about sort of balancing, giving us those fun, exciting, page-turning moments, but also you got to take a moment and slow down and give us those small moments too. You hit the bullseye, explosions, plane crashes, all of this chaos is fun and I'm you know, those 90s action blockbuster thrillers, yeah. that's my bread and butter. Yes. What I love, yes. and that's how my books read. I can't get enough of it, but it's not going to sustain a reader, reader for 300 right. pages. It's about relationships. It's about family. It's about sacrifice. It's about community and, and supporting one another. I love that. I love that. For people who are massive fans that want to come out and see you, you have an event happening tonight. I do. Tonight, yes. Um, Exile in Bookville, downtown Chicago. Yep. It's going to be a great event. I hope you'll come on out. The book is Worst Case Scenario, and and it's about a plane crash um, into a nuclear power plant and what happens uh, after that. And, and that's just a small, but there is a reason that she has movie deals. And can you tell us anything? I know, like, is Paul Greengrass? Paul Greengrass. Academy is, Award nominated director Paul yes, Greengrass is, is, is adapting is, Drowning, right? Yep. No, he's directing Drowning. Directing, yes. Uh, yes yeah, but yeah. adapting Drowning yeah. is Steve Cloves, who's oh. most known for adapting all of the Harry Potter movies. I'm sorry you couldn't get bigger names <laughs> for these projects, by the way. If you haven't read any of her, I'm telling you, her, there's a reason that her books are selling. Uh, you, you can't even find them anywhere because that's how popular they are. TJ, always love having you. Uh, book number four, we'll have you back in studio for it. You, this Done. one just came out. We're already pushing okay. you for book four. I'm set. Put it on the calendar. There you go, TJ. We appreciate you.